What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Fred's Full Throttle. Each week, I'm gonna take you with me on my adventures in the world of cars. Welcome to today's video. <laughs> so for today's video, I am responding to somebody who is watching my paint protection film video. And they said, hey Fred, how do you wash it? What do you do? Is there anything special, anything like that? So I figured I would do a video about it and share what my process is and how I keep the car looking brand new four years on. Well, let me just get my wrench. All right, so real quick, usually I wash the car every two times I go for a drive. This past time it's actually been three, so it's a little dirtier than normal. I know that sounds probably like overkill, but I like my stuff looking nice. And I've found that every two times is really not that big a deal. It doesn't take more than about a half hour to wash the car, and I end up getting a car that looks brand new all the time. The last drive was actually the main drive, which was that 505 mile, 10 hour plus day that I did. Uh, there should be some videos that preceded this one, maybe a couple weeks ahead. And so the main drive was way up north, the roads were a little dirty, and so the car is a little dusty, so let's show you that. So you can see lots of brake dust on these. However, the, the rotors themselves actually look pretty clean. Uh, the wheels, though, pick up a lot of dust, and these stock brakes are known for generating a lot of dust. There's definitely some dust along the kind of side skirts here. You can see a little impacts of various stuff. Thankfully, I've got Expel on the fenders of the car. Um, I'm not sure if the camera's picking any of this up, but definitely like right here. Oh yeah, you can see that a little bit right here. Just some bugs, some dust, that kind of thing. Dirty wheels. So the back of the car actually always picks up dust pretty quickly. You can see I don't know how clearly, but definitely the car is picking up some dust here. There's a little flex of stuff. And part of it is the turbulent air behind the car picks that up and it just sort of deposits on the back. There's actually sort of a static effect, static electricity, and things kind of stick to it. A little bit of kind of water and stuff. Lots more brake dust outside. You can see little bits of debris actually build up on the side skirts. I'm glad those are expelled. A little bit of water marks. And then obviously the front of the car, you've got bugs, you've got debris, you've got all sorts of little stuff, and that's just sort of normal. But the good part is that the whole car pretty much has expelled all the leading edges. So for me, the car is a little dirty right now. Some bugs on the windshield. You can see the little smudges as they move around. Overall though, from a distance, if I back up a little bit, yeah, that doesn't look that bad, does it? So anyway, we're gonna talk about how I clean the car, a couple things that are different, and I'll show you how this goes. All right, so I'm gonna break this down a little bit. There are a couple stages to my wash, and I've kept it fairly simple. I'm not one of the guys who's like using like distilled water and special air blowers and all that, but I like my stuff looking nice, so maybe this will work for you. Anyway, so I do a two bucket method. I do a dirty and a clean. You can tell the dirty's got a little bit of residue from whatever the last time. I've sharpied, dirty, and clean on each. That means that whenever I'm dipping my, uh, my kind of wash mitt, which is that blue thing, I dip it in here, which is the soapy water. I wash the car. I do a little bit with one side, you know, probably like, I don't know, a section. A section would be like from here to the front, just on the side. Hood would be a section. Window, roof would be a section. Door, window, back over here would be a section. And then after each section, I flip the mitt over on my hand. So I'm using the back side. same thing. Do one section. Then I drop it in here, wring it out a bunch of times. All the kind of debris and dirt falls to the bottom. Dip it back in the clean water. After, I don't know, depending how dirty it is, sometimes I'll go and refresh the dirty water. Most of the time I don't. As you can see, the car is actually not that dirty comparably, not compared to the Tacoma. But anyway, so I do the two bucket method. Some people do three buckets, some people do 10 buckets. Um, I'm not crazy, but I this works for me and the car comes out looking really good. The next thing I do, so I do a pressure wash of the car. I pressure wash all the really dirty spots, the wheels, the fenders, all the kind of lower stuff, the hood, get the bugs off the windshield. That's kind of the high pressure stuff. It's no touch, so it's just water hitting the car. And that gets kind of the worst of the muck off the car. Once I've pressure washed it, I do a wheel soak. So 
This is super easy. I was thinking it was gonna be a lot harder, but I use Car Guys Premium Wheel Cleaner. It doesn't have any harsh chemicals in it. It doesn't burn my skin. You can leave it on the car. After about five minutes, so you pressure wash, you get the wheels wet, you get all the worst of the dirt off with just the water. You put that stuff on, technically, it's you don't have to scrub it. I just use a spray bottle right here. I just use a spray bottle I got on Amazon. You know, three or four sp sprays on the wheel, make sure it's good and covered. I actually go through then with a wheel brush. So another cheap one I bought off Amazon, uh, Mothers, which actually I guess is not a, not a too bad brand. Um, the brush is like $10 and it lasts about two years is what I found. Um, so I'm a, at the end of the lifespan on my second brush, I've had the car about four years. Then I pressure wash the wheels to get the residue and the soap off and they come out spotless. I mean, they're fantastic. Next step is I use this Expel rinse free car wash, um, kind of Expel brand flawless finish soap. So a couple things about that, it actually has sort of a, a finish sort of like Rain-X where it'll beat up water and water will pour off the car. A lot of people who get ceramic coating say the same thing about ceramic. This to me has been pretty great. Water will not stick to the car. You almost don't need your wipers when you're driving. And the thing about it being rinse free, you have to clean the car before you use it. I still use a mitt to put it on. So it's this blue mitt here, just sort of a cheap mitt off Amazon, but it's very soft. I keep it nice and clean. There's no dirt or dust. And so I mitt that on the car, like I said, each section one at a time. And then at the end of that, then I just dry the car. I use two microfiber towels usually. Sometimes I can get by with one if it's dry out like today. Um, in the early spring when everything's humid, it takes a little bit more to get the car dry. But basically I just dry the car and, you, and you're done. You don't have to rinse the soap off at the end. And that's how I keep the car looking really good. I mean, it's a little dirty right now, but go back to some of my other videos and you'll see how clean the car actually is. I forgot to mention, I have a Sunjo pressure washer. I got it on Amazon. It was, I think it's the cheapest one with the most reviews. I think it's like a hundred bucks, maybe 150 at most, but it was one of the ones, I think it has like 8,000 reviews that are really good. I got it back when I bought the car cause I needed something to clean it really well with. It's lasted great. I've used it to clean my siding, clean my front walk, clean other cars, everything in between. And it's not let me down yet and it runs great and I've never had a problem. So the pressure is good. One thing I do is use the 40 degree nozzle. It comes with a bunch of different ones and you can see based on the little drawing on the side, how wide the spray is. I'm using the least aggressive spray. And so up close, like if up close, if you really need to, you know, get a bug or some grit, you can get, you know, six inches away, a foot away, no problem. Um, but I want to be careful. I don't want to peel up any of the expel, which I haven't run into any issues, but you just, you never want to like abrade something with high, high pressure water. So that's why I use the least, least aggressive one. And I'll show you how easy it is. And the car comes out looking great. So I still have to towel dry the car, but you can see it's looking pretty clean. Those wheels are looking good. 
And look how clean these are. It's like showroom condition. The car itself, I mean, this is spotless. But here's why you do the double bucket method. I don't know if you can see, but this water is pretty murky. I used about half of the water that was in the, the messy part. See how my fingers like disappear in the water? That tells you how gross that water is. And that's all the dirt that we pulled off the car. But I mean, up close, I mean, it's wet, but look how shiny and clean this is. And this is expelled. So, so to point out, hood, whole front, expelled. Mirrors, back rear fender, expelled. The only parts on the car, actually, side fender, full expel. The only thing that's not expelled is the door, but it doesn't flare out where the rocks hit it. The kind of the side skirt here is, and that's expelled. And then the roof on the top, I didn't expel that. Um, everything else all from here back is expelled. The spoiler is expelled. The back is expelled. So the car is like 90%, I would say. I don't know, 80%, whatever the ratio of door and roof is. But basically I asked McMulkin where, where on the car, basically I asked McMulkin where on the car uh, they get the most damage. And I said, let's cover it all with Expel. So now I'm gonna dry it and then we're done. finished toweling it off this is the type of towel I use it's just like a cheap microfiber but it's almost like a waffle pattern on Amazon at this time I only needed one towel I've got two of them but they work really well they don't leave lint and I'm happy with them and they're pretty cheap but anyway you can see the car looks amazing I mean look at this this looks really good now certainly you could spend more time and more effort, but let me show you a couple things. So this is my phone. You can see 29 minutes. That was, I turned that on right as I was starting to do the wheels. So 29 minutes, the whole car is clean and dried. Down below on the, on the side skirts here, that's where you're gonna get like these little streaks and stains. It means there's a little bit of grime that wasn't loosened up when you use a pressure washer. Not a big deal. A couple other thoughts. Usually when I'm washing it, clean out the door handle, open it up, and what you'll notice is that there's water on the sill right here and on the inside. And that's just because of where the seals are on the car. It keeps the interior clean, but take your towel when you're done with everything else. You do a quick wipe there. Now see all the gump that came on there? That's because I didn't pressure wash the inside of the door, which, which is fine. And then there's a little bit more right here. It's gonna be extra gumpy, I bet. Yeah, look at that. And you can see right around the edge of the door here, those seals don't get done. You can actually see, I don't know if this is coming through, but right here, you can see the edge of the expel as it's wrapped over. Oh yeah, my finger, you can see the reflection right there. I'll maybe back up so it focuses. But yeah, so that's, uh, that's the expel as it's wrapped over the side of the car. Um, so it's out of the way. Uh, you can see, I don't know if, well, I don't know if you can see. There's another seam right here, and that's for the door handle, so your fingernails or a watch or ring don't uh, scrape that. One other thing people frequently are wondering when you're washing a car like this, is I don't want to get fingerprints on the door when I shut it. How do you do that? Well, one of the things McMulkin showed me, this is your door latch. It stays pretty clean other than right here where it's a little greasy. Finger right here, door is shut. Not a single fingerprint on the side of the car. Today's Fred tip. <laughs> um, the trumpets on the back. So every so often on a video, I'll get a comment, hey, your trumpets are dirty, clean them. 
That's because the two outermost ones are the ones where there's open baffles and it's straight through. When you put on the loud exhaust, those two outer ones are what make all the noise, but they're also the ones that have the least uh, particulate filtration. So I clean those maybe every two or three washes. I'll get a plastic brush, I'll use a little bit of soap, and, and then wash them at the end just like you do with the wheels. But you can see, I mean, this is looking pretty good. Look how clean all this came out. And I mean, the car is spotless. One other thing you might be wondering is, hey, you used a microfiber towel. How does that absorb all the water? And then here's the key, it doesn't. What it does is it absorbs a lot of it, but it almost acts like a squeegee and kind of wrings some of the water off. But then as it's on the car, it leaves a very thin film of water that evaporates evenly. So you don't get the big drops that would leave a speck. You know, see how on the tire, these are pretty big drops of water, but on the car, I don't know if you can even see it. There's like a microscopic layer of water where I just wiped it with a wet towel. And that evaporates evenly and it doesn't leave marks. So that's, uh, that's why you would use something like this. Otherwise, you don't actually have to dry off the car. It's purely for cosmetics in my mind. Now the last thing is with these giant brakes, one of the things I always do after I wash it is I take it for like a five minute drive and I ride the brakes a little bit to dry them out and I get a little bit of air flowing through the car. The reason you do that is so that they don't stick after you park it. So usually I wash the car, I park the car, a week might go by, the next weekend I go to use the car and then all of a sudden when I first go you'll feel the brakes have grabbed and that's because the water in the brakes has expanded that material and it causes it to stick a little bit. It doesn't hurt the car and the engine's powerful enough to pull through it but it's like a kunk, like kind of a weird, like clunk noise. And so you always go for a little drive. Now, one other thing I'll mention is when you finish that short little drive, right here on the back, basically everything behind this spoiler, you're gonna wanna give it one more go over with a, with a towel. Usually I just find a clean section that doesn't have any stains or any dust on it, and you'll clean it. And that's because due to that turbulence behind the car that I mentioned, you'll end up with a thin layer of dust. So anyway, I'm gonna go do that, but that's how you wash the car. Until next time, Fred out. So thank you for watching. I hope this was interesting. I hope if you're considering paint protection film or expel for your car, maybe this gives you a little bit to think about. You don't have to spend hours and hours and hours agonizing over keeping your car clean. This car is four years old, 15,000 and change miles, and it looks brand new. If you like this video, please consider giving me a like or a subscribe. That really helps me out. And until next time, Fred out.